everyone. So January 2nd, we decided to come out and uh, unlike last week where we decided we'd try and fish a little and caught a single squid, um, we decided to take up the Stevie Craft motto here, the adventure with confidence. And uh, we've done probably about 30 miles out. And to show you where we've ended up at, this is Seattle off in the distance here and off the GoPro I really don't have a zoom um, but if you take a look Space Needle's kind of off to the left and then you know more to the right is just downtown Seattle the really really tall black building with Columbia Tower you see the one that's got the little peak on top off in the distance kind of to the uh, right that's Smith Tower uh, and we'll take a cruise around here slowly and uh, see if we can get some more close-up footage of it for everyone. Hang tight, here we go. All right, take us around. So I'm currently standing in back on the uh, fishing deck here, holding on tightly with one hand, and filming with the other. I don't know if you can tell from the uh, waves here this is pretty mild compared to what we've been in most of the way down here today but uh, we made it down with no problems um, slow and steady cruise about 10, 10 mile an hour showing as the speed on ground and uh, you know, no problems we made it down here so fairly comfortable fairly smooth ride only thing we've really done different this week is we did not stop anywhere and anchor up to make coffee um, I bought a big Stanley thermos which I'll uh, drop a link to down here below that holds over over a full pot of coffee uh, probably holds about a pot and a half i think it was rated as like a half gallon but uh you know another game changer for being out here in rough water we don't have to mess around with trying to cook anything or uh, boil anything so you can see some of the shipping lanes off here on the left i believe these will be uh more than likely commercial fishing you look at the big uh, booms on the back pulling lines. I'm gonna try and switch to the other side here. And may quickly switch back. I'm getting a spray from the side. All right, we'll pause this for a second while I try and wipe the lens clean. All right, we're back. Hopefully, I got this wiped clean enough you can see. Definitely not the smoothest water we've ever been in out here. Now let's see, off to the left here, extra straight ahead, the Northern Jagger uh, shows American Seafoods Company. So it's a pretty good sized vessel for uh, fishing. And to the right of it is the Excellence Tag Seattle. wondered where all your fresh fish comes in from at least in the Seattle area here's a pretty good idea
kind of in more of a sheltered area. Seattle from the water. See a flight coming in, headed for SeaTac Airport. And, uh, not the smoothest water we've ever been out in. Not the roughest shed either, though. see a uh, barge transoceanic out here with a uh, we'd call it a tugboat or or not but you know trying to get it down toward shipping lanes and also off in the distance is one of our ferries the Golden Jake. Not exactly sure what this ship does. Um, it's definitely interesting. If anybody knows what the Golden Jake does, drop a comment down below here. it's running today and I know they've been doing a lot of construction and stuff down in the uh, dock areas here so I'm not sure if it's running or not the two ferries off to the right of it though are running
park area here. Not sure uh, when it appeared, but uh, I've never seen this giant concrete face they have here facing outwards. If anybody know what that's about, drop a comment below if you're in the area. Alright, so here we have the Victoria Clipper off on the left. And then the two on the right, I believe, are just the uh, Orca whale watching tours. They run out of here, um, like on a lot of the weekends. So we've been out there and seen plenty ourselves, but every now and then you'll see one of these things appear out there. Uh, I take that back. The one in the middle is the, I believe, the Orca tours. The one on the right is, again, Victoria Clipper service. up behind here what you can't see would be the uh, general area where Pike's Place Market is um, the thrown fish if you've uh, never seen that I'm sure they've got videos of the thrown fish on YouTube if you do a quick search you'll probably turn up a lot Now we're back into more up close footage of downtown Seattle. Here we have the Northern Hawk out of Shevik, Alaska. Here you can kind of see what appear to be their compact car-sized bumpers they've got along the docks. Take that back, they may be more Jeep-sized bumpers. If you look, there's a little truck, electric truck parked up there on the pier above it, and uh, they certainly look larger than it. Finally, we have a clear view of downtown Seattle. And if you're um, liking this, we'll be doing more of this here during the winter months when there is no real fishing other than Atlantic salmon. Um, from a spill they had at a farm-raised Atlantic salmon hatchery. So, you know, hit a uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of uh, footage, and we'll be happy to go out more and bring more to you. And if I can get my camera out the window here, you'll see the uh, Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel's about dead center of the screen, still off in the distance a bit, but the GoPro can't really zoom, so.
All right, right off in the distance, um, trying to get it about dead center of the screen, there's a building sticking up that's yellow with a green like box top flying an American flag. That is the elevator, it's a walkway to Pike's Place Market. And if you look just to the left of that in front of a brownish colored building under the skyscraper, uh, you can actually see the back side of the sign that says public market. So if you're coming into the Pike's Place public market from the interior side, there's the big sign there to greet you when you arrive. And then um, what used to be easy to see from here, they've now uh, built up apartments all along the, uh, the water line. So you don't quite get the backside view of the market the way you used to. But you can still kind of see through here and see the public market center signed by their parking garage. And what appears to be an actual dock. But it doesn't say anything about, you know, us being able to pull over and dock there, so we probably won't. Straight ahead is the Seattle Aquarium. I have been to before on field trips with my kids. It's a great place to visit if you're in the area. Nothing like the uh, Sydney Aquarium, I will say that. Because I've been there as well. And, um, you know, the Sydney Aquarium, hands down, it's not even, this one's not even close. And I'll get the camera back out the window here and get a better view of the Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel, you can see the stadium tops. They change the names on them all the time, depending on who's kicking in the money to uh, sponsor it. So I'll just say that, you know, Mariner Stadium and the Seahawks Stadium. And if you can see the construction going on over here by the Ferris wheel, it uh, appears that it in fact is not running at the moment. And currently, even as close as we are, our uh, depth finder is still showing we're in nearly 100 foot of water at this point. So it's been a very cool trip down here today. Um, probably try and get some more rough water footage uh, heading up out of here. There's, there's plenty, right? I don't know how much more I can keep bringing you guys the rough water footage, but hey, it's amusing to watch, so um, we even learn things when watching it. Here it looks like we actually have somebody over fishing off of the uh, pier by the aquarium. And he's definitely got a fishing rod. But, so, anyway, I'll get a good close-up. One last one here with the ferris wheel the uh, stadiums here off in the back over the top of the ferries right by pier 56 get back out the channel airways and give ourselves a little bit of uh, want to 
see the distance we've traveled. Pull up Everett, Washington on the map, and Seattle, Pier 56. And you'll uh, see the distance we've covered here. All in a little 20 foot Stavy Craft, the uh, 2050 Super Cab. Amazing ride down here, regardless how rough. So, uh, here's the big buoy showing no boating, closed area. So, we will uh, start making our way out. There's Elliot's. Pretty uh, famous place around here if you come into town and want a place to go check out some night. Uh, there's Elliot's, I believe, to the right of that. There may be the Red Robin, which, yeah, it is. It's Red Robin. They actually got a label on this side. It's a pretty decent place to eat. Uh, definitely a family-style restaurant, you know, as long as uh, COVID's letting people in to eat. So, but I'm going to cut this for now, get a little more footage when we're uh, heading up north, and I uh, you know, hope you've enjoyed this part of the show.